What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Pa. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Stay close to the dog, son. Let's go. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Are you sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick of hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. Elk don't stand still, son. I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me, honey. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. Slow it up now. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? Easy. Jack, he's on to something. There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. Come on. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. you never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. She'd hunt ghosts with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. I thought you and Matt wanted me to read. Look, I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. There you go. Show you how to cut the meat. Come on. I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, Paul. You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush Ooh, it. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. What are you doing? Let's keep moving. Go on, Rufus. Sniff us out a couple more. Go on, Rufus. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch at I know, I know. I saw how you did it. You say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Whoa. Yeah. Find another one, Rufus! Go on, boy! Go on, Rufus! Find him, Rufus! Slow down! Look! They're over there! You 
can do this. Stay calm. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Yeah! Did you see me? You did good, son. There we go. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Ah, come on in. Patriotas quieren salvarnos de los brujos. Howdy. What do you have? Just let me know what you need. Marston. Thank you. Hope you like I it. I met John Marston once. Near seven okay, foot tall. Then. Bye. The Why whole not? world passes Marston. through here. You better believe it. How are you, mister? Oh, he's in the market. Here we are. Enjoy the journey. Howdy, Mr. Marston. There you go. There was a shootout by the Aurora Basin. All done. Let's head home. Greetings, Mr. Marston. Are you, uh... Come on, easy up now. Come on. Hey, oh, howdy there. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple of days. Come. Fun? I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. <laughs> 